solve this equation, we have x times y equals to minus 12, and we have x minus y equals to 7. Equation 1, equation 2. How do we resolve this? So this is a set of two linear equations, a simultaneous equation. How do we resolve this using substitution method? Okay, for example, let's make use of substitution method to resolve this. So how do we do that? Solution. Okay, so the idea behind substitution is to make one variable the subject of the formula. Okay, so let us start with equation two. Okay, so let me make x or y the subject of the formula. Let me use x. Let's start with x. So for x to be the subject of the formula here, I have to bring back this. So I have 7 plus y. Okay, so now that I make x the subject of the formula, I can substitute it back to equation 1. So for equation 1, I have x, y equals to minus 12. Okay, which is I say for x, I have to be 7 plus y. So times y, which is this, equals to minus 12. So I open up the brackets with this. 7 times y is 7y plus y times y is y squared equals to minus 12. Okay? So when I write this properly, I have this to be y squared plus 7y. Okay? Plus 12. When it comes here, equals to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. So when you use any method, either factorization method or uh, formula method, we can resolve and get y. So let us use factorization method here. So I can use here 4 and 3. 4 times 3 is 12. When I add it up, I have 7y. So I have here y squared plus 3y plus 4y plus 12. Okay? So when I factorize it out, I have y into y plus 3, which is this plus 4 into y plus 3, okay? So from here, I pay this with this, I have y plus 4, okay? So y plus 3. So from here now, y plus 4 equals to 0, y equals to minus 4, okay? And uh, when y plus 3 equals to 0, y equals to minus 3. So let us use these two sets of y to determine the value of x in this equation. So let us use equation 1 to determine the value of x where y is minus 4 and to determine the value of x where y is minus 3. So when y is minus 4, okay, so how do we determine x using equation 1? We have xy equals to minus 12. So for y to be minus 4, we have x times minus 4 equals minus 12 which implies minus 4x equals minus 12. So here I can divide both sides by minus 4, which is the coefficient of x, minus 4, this will go. So I have x to be 3 when I simplify this. So that means when y equals minus 4, my x is 3. That is case 1. So for the second case, I have this to be when y when y equals minus 3, so let us substitute this back here to determine what x stands for. So we have xy equals minus 12. So here we have x times minus 3y is minus 3 equals minus 12. When you open up, we have minus 3x equals minus 12. Divide both sides of minus 3. So we have x to be 4. So the second case is when y is minus 3, okay? my x is 4. So these are the two set of answers we have. So when we substitute any of these to check any of this equation, we are going to get this answer. Let us check. In the first case, I have y to be minus 4, x to be 3. So when I bring up my x to be 3 times my y is minus 4, okay, I have this as 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. And I work out this, I put it back in this equation. Let me work with the second equation. When x is 4, so I have 4 minus y in this case is minus 3. Okay, so here is 4 minus plus 3. Minus and minus is plus. So 4 plus 3 gives me 7. So these are the two set of answers.